Hello everybody. Now this video will introduce to you the Western Digital Hard Drive Repair programs from Dolphin Data Lab. For Western Digital Hard Drive Repair, we have offered two programs. One is the Western Digital Auto Repair program and the other is the DFLWD Manual Repair program. We also call it the standard Western Digital Firmware Repair Program. Now we can see from this folder, the first one is the DFL All-in-One Setup Program. After we install this program, we will get the Western Digital Standard Firmware Repair Program. Now we can open the All-in-One Program, the C panel. We can see there are three channels, and here, Western Digital, the WD icon. Double click to the WD icon, we can open the Western Digital Firmware Repair Standard Program. Now, let's check what functions are included in this program. Now, we have power on the hard drive, and this drive gets ready. Auto get detail. Click OK. Now we have entered the main interface with all the functions. We can see all functions are available in separated items. This is common functions. So users can operate on the ROM, RAM, and the SA. The SA on the platter, RAM, ROM, firmware, defects, translator. And this menu is especially for hard drive refurbishing. It contains the ARCO and self test functions. And this menu is also for hard drive refurbishing. It will damage the data. This is no level format. Format with GList, PayList, and both GList and PayList, without GList and PayList. So we can see all the firmware repair functions are available in separated items. So this is the standard Western Digital Firmware Repair Program. This is a firmware modules. We can see all modules. We can test all the modules and find which module is damaged and then we can refurbish, we can repair it. So this standard program can be used for both data recovery and hardware refurbishing purpose. For some functions like this one, this one, and firmware. So we can use these functions to fix the firmware damage and then we can access the data error using the DFL DDP. So the DDP is a data recovery module. After we fix the firmware failure, we can access the data by the DDP data recovery module. And for other functions in the standard program, we can use them to refurbish. That means to remove the bad sectors of this hard drive. And then we can use the drive again. So this is the standard Western Digital Firmware Repair program. If users want to refurbish or repair this hard drive, users need to understand the use of each function and use all the functions properly. Now let's check the WD Auto Repair Program. So we can see Auto Repair Program is independent from the DF All-in-One Program. This one separate and different program. Okay, so we can click on it 
and then we can select the channel. This depends on which channel you have collected your hard drive to. Now I have collected the hard drive to the SATA zero. So I just simply select the SATA zero and click OK to enter inside. Turn on the hard drive. And then we need to read this drive gets read. Now this drive gets read. We need to read ID. Read this hard drive ID. For this auto repair program for Western Digital hard drives, it repairs all the hard drives. I mean all the Western Digital hard drives with the same process. That means whether your hard drives have few bad sectors. Or many bad sectors. It use the same method. First, it will. We can see start. It will use the online article, or online subtest, or online article, and offline subtest. So, it will run the same steps to refurbish all the hard drives you have collected. To the hardware. So, when users receive hard drives, it's not always good to collect the drives for auto repair. If the drives have just the simple bad sectors or few bad sectors, users can use the Western Digital standard firmware repair program. Because users just need to use several simple functions, and then users can refurbish the hard drives. For example, users can view JList, and then if the JList has some defects, users can transfer the defects from the JList to the playlist, and then users can format with playlist. Anyway, for second-hand Western Digital hard drives, the drives have usually the common repair. I mean, the common slow responding problem. That is the common firmware issue for Western Digital hard drives. So you don't need to fix the slow responding firmware corruption, and then power off and power on. The drive can usually be fixed. I mean, the bad sectors will be gone. So users just need to simple to use some simple functions within the standard program to refurbish the hard drives, and no need to use the auto repair program for drives with simple bad sectors. The auto repair program. Is usually used for drives with many bad sectors, or for drives with a lot of difficult or unknown firmware corruptions, and you don't know how to fix it. So you can just simply connect to the auto repair program and refurbish it automatically. The auto repair program takes some time, takes more time. Than the standard. Anyway, the user need to understand to categorize the hard drives you have received from your top suppliers. So, all in all, users need to use a combination of both the auto repair program and the manual repair, the standard firmware. Repair program. Combine these two programs for the best hard drive, for the best Western Digital hard drive refurbishing result. Thank you for watching this video.